Hi everyone! In this video tutorial I just wanted to show you how you can create square shaped automation or gated automation quickly and efficiently almost without an effort. I decided to make this video after watching one of the Danstech's videos here on YouTube. Danstech in his video called Logic 10.4.2 Review Tutorial Snap Automation Nodes Vertically is demonstrating a technique of creating square shape automation but then he stumbles across a bug in logic where he applies MIDI transform double or half speed to the automation shapes and after that process he is then unable to change the upper or lower values of the shapes because they collapse. I am going to show you how this can be avoided. So just like in the dance text video I am using the retro synth for the demonstration uh, I've created one region, four bars long, double click on that region to open it. Inside that region I have one sustained note playing across uh, four bars, it sounds like that. Nice and steady sound. Now I enable my automation with the A shortcut and go to automation parameters and choose retro synth, filter filter cut off. Now Danster is showing us how he is creating square shapes by using a pointer tool. Well instead of using the pointer tool I'm going to show you how you can create nice shapes with a pencil tool. Um, there is one condition for the use of pencil tool to create the square shapes though. You have to go to your snap settings and uh, automation snap offset setting that window pops out and in the pencil under the pencil tool drop down drop down window you have to make sure that hold option for curved editing is selected that yeah that's one condition another thing is when I use the pencil tool the pencil is going to create four nodes for me and basically automatically create square shape so I can adjust the width of that shape with snap automation division so for now I've chosen to have uh, quarter nodes of a bar I choose my pencil tool and I create my square shapes and they sound like this. Now we see I can now edit them but even without changing the uh, pencil tool to pointer tool as long as I preserve the same uh, division settings I can still change the height of them and obviously with a pointer tool I can just select the nodes and make them wider or take the nodes away etc. I can do standard editing. So that's my four shapes. Now what I'm going to do is apply MIDI trans transform to it just like uh, Danste is doing in his video. So I'm going to select all the nodes, go to MIDI transform and I am going to apply half speed to it. Yeah. So they all selected, operate only, bang, they play in a half speed. Just deselect all of them and they sound like this. Let's see if they collapse if I change the upper or lower values. They don't collapse magic. So if you create in square shapes or gated automation like that you want to make sure you use the pencil tool and then you can set the width of your uh, shapes with uh, snap automation division settings whatever you call it. So I can choose now for, for example 16th, uh, choose my pencil tool and I can draw more shapes on the top of what I've already made here. Yeah, and it sounds like this. Cool. 
cool. So, that's that. Thanks for watching.